And welcome back. We're pleased to be joined today by two of Minnesota's eight members of Congress, Representative uh, Pete Stauber, a Republican from the 8th District, and Representative uh, Dean Phillips, representing the 3rd District here in Minnesota. Thank you both for being here. Uh, we've got a, a Democrat and a Republican, and that's on purpose. It's because they are two members, I think there's 48 of you altogether, in right. the Problem Solvers Caucus in uh, Congress in the Minnesota House or in the U.S. House. Explain what the Problem Solvers Caucus is. Well, good morning, Tom. You know, the Problem Solvers Caucus is the 48 members of uh, the Congress, 24 Republicans and 24 Democrats. And, and Dean and I happen to share uh, a couple hours a week on the Problem Solvers Caucus. And what we want to do is, is really reach across and do what's right for the country and, and put the party labels aside. And, and I think we've been very effective, very effective. And is one of the reasons the two of you want to get involved is because you're both new to Congress. You're not necessarily wedded to everything that has gone on before, which has been very polarizing, and you maybe bring a, a, a fresh perspective? I think that's fair to say, Tom. Uh, that's why I wanted to join, and I know Pete and I joined at the same time, because Congress does not afford mechanisms for us to get to know each other, uh, which is a big problem with the social design of Congress. You have to be very intentional to dedicate yourself to getting to know one another and building trustful relationships, both within your caucus and certainly across the aisle. And the Problem Solvers Caucus is doing the work that the whole Congress should be. So I'm, I'm proud to join with Pete, and, uh, and he's been an inspiration to me in a lot of ways, including inspiring me to go to the southern border now twice. Uh, uh, and it's kind of it's the work that we should be doing, not just as Minnesotans, but uh, as a country. I think it's, it's, it's really, the as Dean talked about, it's about uh, understanding where each other come from, our, 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 our lives, how we've lived it, and that shapes our experiences. And we can bring them to the uh, Problem Solvers Con uh, Caucus and, and those couple hours a week talk about what matters yeah. to America, how we can uh, work together on, on uh, removing the, di the divisiveness in our country. And the Problem Solvers Caucus, it is recognized in Washington, D.C. It's recognized uh, uh, throughout the states as a caucus that gets things done uh, for the American people. Now, there are a couple of areas where you've been able to find agreement, but frankly, it's, it's fairly easy to find agreement on some things like uh, government should be more efficient. Uh, mm -hmm. If there's no budget, uh, there should be no pay. Some of those things are, are easy to find agreement on. Health care is a whole other animal, although this caucus has come up with a, a compromise of sorts on that, but still not easy to get the rest of Congress to go along with it. No, it's not easy, but, but at least when you have 24 Democrats and 24 Republicans working together, first getting to know each other because you have to build trustful relationships, but then also investigating things with our own eyes, you know, rather than just listening to innuendo or watching television, we actually go investigate uh, the issues. The southern border, both Pete and I have been down south uh, uh, to investigate with our own eyes. I'll be joining uh, Pete up north shortly to, to talk about mining and actually do some touring. So, you know, we're committed to not just uh, taking partisan positions, but sharing ideas, no matter what side of the aisle they come from, and creating some, you know, some templates, if you will, uh, that we can work from. Uh, immigration, uh, fiscal responsibility, uh, there are a lot, of, a lot of good work we can do together. It's going to take time, but we're going to do it. But whether it be immigration or building a, a border wall, whatever that form that's going to take, or health care, uh, getting Republicans to go along, many of whom voted to repeal uh, the Affordable Care Act, trying to find compromise on those issues seems almost impossible in the climate we're in. No, I, I don't. I disagree with that, Tom. I think it is possible. I think when we sit down and uh, look at uh, ideas and ways to make sure that uh, uh, health care is not only affordable, but it's personable, uh, it, can, it extends to the families. And we need to make sure, and Dean agrees with this, we need to make sure that uh, rural health care is, uh, is uh, still a priority across the nation. Uh, we're hearing it in Washington, D.C. I'm hearing it in the 8th District. We need to make sure that rural health care uh, is a priority and uh, so when I talk about when or when we talk about the the uh, bipartisan uh, ship that we're and the conversations we're having I think it's important to recognize that our commonalities far outweigh our differences and 85 uh, percent of uh, the legislation we know that we can work together on and do well not only for the state of Minnesota uh, but this nation so this is the problem solvers caucus it's it's one of the best uh, uh, caucuses in, in Washington DC right now and I'm, I'm 
I might just say, too, it, it, if it's going to get done at all, it's going to get done probably because of our caucus. Yeah. Uh, without Democrats and Republicans sitting down in a thoughtful manner, listening to one another, celebrating differences sometimes, nothing will get done. So we're building that framework and already co-sponsoring one another's bills uh, and working together in a way that I wish more Americans were aware of because I think they would have just a little bit more faith and possibility. Now, uh, Congressman Phillips, there are Democrats who are skeptical of this, saying many of the Republicans might be using this as cover for, you know, being able to say, yes, look at how bipartisan we are, even though they voted to repeal the Affordable Care Act or uh, what, what have you. Uh, is that a fair criticism that, that some Republicans and even Democrats could be using this as cover to make it look like they're being bipartisan? Well, you know, Tom, I, I believe that most of us are in it for the right reasons. I surely know that Pete and I are. Uh, I know that some take actually a really significant political risk by joining the, the Problem Solvers Caucus because they're not rewarded back at home, which is one of the problems in our country right now is, is such polarization uh, that some in the far left and some in the far right don't want their member of Congress working with the other side. So I would say that it's actually just the opposite. Most, if not all of us, are there for the right reasons, uh, even with pol political consequence, and that's uh, something we need more of. And th Do you get pushback from Republican leadership about, you know, don't get in bed with these No, not Democrats. at all. Not at all. Um, as Dean talked about, you have the right ditch and the left ditch. Mm -hmm. That's not where the Problem Solvers Caucus is. We're, we legislate in between the lanes, in between the guardrails, and we can get a lot, a lot of stuff done. And I think that as the more, um, the more that the Problem co uh, Solvers Caucus gets out there and pushes legis legislation, people are realizing this is where America is. And uh, like I say, Dean and I, uh, every week uh, for a couple hours, we have the opportunity, Tom, to put legislation forward that really matters to the American people and uh, the state of Minnesota. And we've also had some successes. I think it's worth sharing, too. In the very beginning of this Congress, uh, we, we issued a, a package called Break the Gridlock Package that actually, for the first time in, in a long time, changed the rules in Congress to allow for bipartisan bills that have 290 co-sponsors to have to reach the House floor, which in the past wasn't that wasn't necessarily the truth. Uh, we had a uh, we made an impact on ending the shutdown, the last shutdown, uh, last January in, in 2019. Mm -hmm. It was a tremendous mm -hmm. impact. Uh, the mm -hmm. Problem Solvers Caucus was responsible mm -hmm. uh, to get the government uh, back open. And it was because of the efforts and the bipartisanship and the work we put together in our committees right. uh, to, to make it happen. And the uh, final thing in the less than a minute we have, uh, you're trying to do this work now against the backdrop of an impeachment inquiry that is likely to result in a, in a vote on impeachment on the House floor. How much more difficult does that make your job to try to be bipartisan when the other side is trying to impeach the president of your party. Well, we look at uh, we have so many opportunities in this country, Tom, to get things done. We uh, in rural Minnesota, we need the uh, deployment of rural broadband. We may we have to make sure that uh, our borders are secure. We have to make sure that we provide an infrastructure package for this nation that's needed so badly. There's so much other work to be done. But can you do that with this impeachment inquiry going on? Yes. You agree? Everything that Congressman Stauber just said we need in rural America, I totally agree with. Uh, and that's a perfect example of where we can come together. I'm disappointed that we're, we're facing an impeachment inquiry. There's no question. Neither of us ran for Congress to, to be engaged in this kind of work. Uh, and we might even see it a little bit differently. But I respect Congressman Stauber. Uh, and I know, because we are, we're working together uh, on initiatives. Uh, we just got our, our staffs together for a wonderful project uh, sponsored by Better Angels, where we're the first two members of Congress in the country, uh, Democrat and Republican, that got our staffs together for a full-day workshop to get to know each other, respect one another. We are doing the work that I hope uh, Americans will actually treasure and start doing more of themselves. Well, best of luck to both of you. It may be a Herculean task to make something happen out of this, but it's good to know that uh, somebody is trying to do it, and including a couple of Minnesotans. Yeah. So, Congressman Stauber, Congressman Phillips, thank you for being thank here. You, thank you. That issue will continue after a break. We'll be back with political analysis in two minutes.